Girl, I finally can say that I created and designed my very first wig. And of course it's in partnership with my first wig. This was super important to me. So when they gave me the freedom to create, I wanted to do something that was super sexy, very cute for my corporate queens, my around the way filet, my everyday regular girl, regular degular, you, you could still slay, and you know my collegiate scholars. This is a wig that is adaptable to any and every style. I didn't want to do just the plain natural color. I wanted to give you guys something spicy, okay? I wanted to introduce more of that nice ombre gradient, the dark root, so you feel comfortable but you know you still have a bomb color job and let me just tell you I have been fooling people when I've been wearing this wig they're like I thought that was your hair no sis it's a wig I wanted you guys to see this unit at every stage I'm showing everything from start to finish what it looks after on a wash day how you style it I just wanted this to be like informative and so you guys feel confident. Every wig that you get, you gotta own it. And this is something where you put it on and all you need really is your confidence to accentuate the style, okay? So again, I'm hype, I'm hype. I know my mama gonna want this, you know. I see you, mine. you can't have mine, but you know. I'm not gonna waste your time. I'm gonna just get it done. <laughs> Product photos for the K-Highlight Bob accurately represent the condition and state of the hair when it's taken directly from the packaging. And I used very minimal manipulation and basic styling options so that you guys feel confident when you make your purchase because that's important to me. And of course, this is a lace front wig. This is the most beginner friendly cap construction and you get about six inches of free parting space spanning from the crown down to the front edge. And there are neatly executed wefts at the back along with adjustable straps and and three combs and you guys can see the pre-tweezed hairline the dimension within this unit was killing me this was the first time i tried this one and i fell in love i was gagging like this <laughs> this is it sis once you know you are definitely comfortable with the style the cut the fit of your unit this is when you can start to remove the lace pull the hair all the way back take your time go slow if you need to now underneath that wig, I want you to try plaits or cornrows straight back. I want you guys to take care of your hair. I'll link my ultra hydrating mixture below because I want you guys to truly protect your hair at its core. I like to wash my wig after every time that I wear it and this is what it looks like. You guys can see it looks very choppy because this unit has a ton of layers. Now I did like the parting space. I left it alone for the product photos but I prefer a more curved parting space because to me it looks more natural. Now again this is a cap size 1. I do wish it was a little bit larger. Girl if you have a larger head get a cap size 2. I am plucking the parting space because I'm just doing the most. This is not necessary. With the right powder or concealer, you can completely skip this step, sis. Do not hesitate. Now I'm using mousse to just mold the hair in the direction that I want it to lay. This is the first styling option. You can use a blow dryer and a round brush. I love a round brush because it definitely adds shine and it's a quick way to achieve a curl. But I'm trash at it, but I did want to show this as an option. I'm still learning, but if I can get on here and try, y'all can get on there and try. But I definitely like how this unit looked after using the round brush and the blow dryer. Now, if you are someone who can tolerate, you know, a little bit of flat ironing, just bump the ends. Y'all know about that. Just bump the ends. This is all you have to do with this unit. But if you want to take it a step further, if you like how my hair looked in the intro, this is what I do. I take the unit off, use my T-pins to secure it on a canvas blockhead, and I create very small sections and I curl the hair in the individual pieces to really get that volume. 
as for the wig application i like to do the got to be glued method this is the standard method if you want to see the stocking cap method girl please give this video a thumbs up because i slayed it i tried it and it was everything and again i'm just using some free spray and i'm going to you know position my wig and then lay it in place i'm using the ear tabs as a guide you may have to adjust the fit or trim the ear tabs but this is your guide when you are laying your wig and i'm using the opposite end of my applicator brush to make sure you know i'm keeping the hair away from the gel with a small tooth comb i'm just going to pull the hair away from the gel because i don't want it to stick and then i'm just going to use a satin scarf to secure the front perimeter of the wig and i'm just going to allow this to set for about 15 minutes and you know you can fix your makeup touch it up i had to take photos after this so you guys know you know what it is but after 15 minutes, I took it off. If you see any residue, any kind of buildup of the gel, just take hot water or a makeup wipe and remove it. Be very gentle. Now, I did take out some hairs at the very front. I'm gonna trim them down. Then I'm gonna go in to tweeze this particular section because I don't want it to be too dense or too full. That's definitely not realistic. Now I'm gonna put some mousse down so I can give it texture and then trim the hairs further. Sometimes you may have to do this once or twice. And now I use my little soft bristle toothbrush to kind of swoop the hairs. Again, this is completely optional. I am trying to learn what methods or techniques work best for me and what looks the best. So I like that you guys are bearing with me at this point. But I'm using a Sanex Mega Strip to just lay down the perimeter hairline and I'm using a blow dryer on cool for about five minutes. And then I'm gonna remove it and begin styling my hair. I like to just bump the hair once more when it's on my head. I just feel like, you know, you get a fresh curl. It gives you even more life. And it's a great way to kind of refresh your look. And you guys can see how I'm holding the flat iron to get that kind of loose S curl at the very ends. Take the hair, roll it into like a pin curl, and then use a clip to just hold it in place. That is going to give you so much volume. If you want your hair to stay gorgeous, you wanna preserve that curl, please do that method. Now, if you guys loved how my hair looked in the intro, very voluminous, this is what I do. I curl the hair in the opposite direction that I want it to lay, and I'll lay it in the opposite direction of how it's gonna flow as well. And then I just like curl it, in such a way so that I'm creating that volume. What really maximizes the volume is a little bit of free spray and a little bit of mousse. I'm trying not to go overboard with product, you know, I'm trying to get better. But then I take this round brush, I pull the hair back, and you know, just like in those Instagram videos, sis, I learned, okay? You pull the hair back and then you push it forward and you just fall in love. It's really a beautiful thing. I'm so happy I learned. Mm. But again, this is not the final, final look. I'm just doing this and I'm going to kind of pin my hair up and clip it in place. And then once you let your hair down, girl, you're gonna give all types of life. And I love this look. I'm so happy this is my wig. I cannot believe this. And I just wanna say thank you. And right now, my first wig is having their tax refund season promotional offers, girl save you some coins stay tuned for the behind the scenes so you can see everything i worked with a photographer on this which was insane because i wanted this campaign to be cute and i want to see all my queens in this wig so make sure you check out myfirstwig.com follow me on instagram pink valenciaga underscore don't forget the underscore sis yeah. So I'm here with Michael. He was my photographer for today. So you did an excellent job. Thank you. Um, so where can they find you if they want to get in touch with you? Or you can go to my website, mdrhon.com. 
Jamaica. And he's from Jamaica, okay. I got a, a following in Jamaica, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are you from Jamaica or? Captain. Mm -hmm. You gonna bring me some uh, stew chicken? <laughs> 